Alright, hello everybody, this is the Benjamin and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. This is part 11 of Blue's Quest, and, uh, so I spent, uh, uh let's say a few hours grinding. And so now I want to show you what my party looks like, because you'll notice that there are going to be a couple things different. So first of all, uh, look at Blue's stats, he's got up to 407 HP. Um, and as you can see right there, he's actually got a variety of different spells, some of which are familiar, some of which are not. But yeah, we have, uh... Mega Wind Blast and Flash Flood, which are two pretty cool spells. Mega Wind Blast being probably the most useful. Flash Flood, um, I'll, I might be showing that off a little bit. I don't use it a whole lot, but it actually uh, kills, automatically kills all of your uh, enemies. It's an auto kill thing. And so loot now, um, he's looking pretty good. 44 weapon points, uh, 461 HP. Um, and now we actually have a bunch of sword techniques, um, and we've already seen deflect before, uh, I believe. No, I haven't shown you deflect, but deflect is actually really important. It, it randomly negates attacks, so that's pretty great. Double slash is great too, um, because it costs zero, uh, zero, zero WP if you have um, a total of, uh, what is it, six sword techniques, so that doesn't cost anything. Heaven Hell is pretty cool. Swallow Swing and Wheel Slash are useful because they're actually projectile attacks. Um, we haven't learned everything that loot can, and there's, there's one particular technique that I'm still looking for, but that'll come. And of course, here's Mei Ling, who's really kicking butt as far as, uh, guns are, uh, as far as their gun techniques are concerned. Probably the two most powerful ones are Bound Shot and Trick Shot. Trick Shot does a ton of damage, but also as you can see on there, she has two gun and quick draw, which means that she uses both of her lethal guns and is always the first to go. So she is your initiative woman and, and she is really powerful now. Um, and then Rufus, of course, he is, uh, that's one thing I gotta fix. Is it, You can see on there that he actually has a, uh, a dodge ability, but I don't really like dodge abilities just because they're so random. They allow you to avoid certain types of attacks, but it's not really that great. Um, but triple thrust is probably one of the most powerful techniques in the game, and I'll be showing that uh, probably in this video. Um, you got wheel slash, again, a lot of the same stuff, but it's pretty great. And of course, Dr. Nusikon is looking good too. Uh, we got a bunch of different uh, monsters, some pretty high level ones on him. So actually when you go to the next dungeon with Dr. Nusikon, you don't want him to use Mystic Sword Boots or Gloves because you don't want to lose the absorbed enemies. But look at that, he's got a total of 72 strength with that add-on. He's got 551 HP, he is a beast. So we are looking pretty good now. So let me just, uh, let me just get this off of Rufus. So you always want to have one slot available for learning stuff. So now, um, I think when you have your main character around 400 HP, um, and if you've used Takonomics, you should be able to take on most of the rune quests or the rune locations pretty easily. Um, it, obviously, if you don't use Takonomics, it's going to take longer for you to power up, and I, I'd, I'd go for 450, but with 400 for your main character, you should be in good shape. So the first place that we're actually going to be going, um, if you remember in Devon, they said that there are the four locations of the runes, and the Victory Rune, which we've actually, this is where we got Rufus, is in Mew's Tomb. So we're going to go and try to get the Victory Rune. And hopefully I'll be able to show you uh, a few of the uh, the techniques in a couple battles. I'm going to be skipping a lot of the battles, but um, there are a few that I'm going to be showing off. So now that door, remember last time, you're no longer too young to die. It's time. It's time to get going. So yeah, little door over here. And yeah, you'll you'll get used to dodging enemies. Pick up this treasure, shadow dagger. Not really useful for our purposes, but um, it is useful sometimes. I, I know I'm kind of running through, but all right. Might as well show off this battle. It's going to be against some fairly easy enemies, but... Uh, oh, look at that thing. Oh, wow, these are actually these guys actually aren't bats. So remember those bats that we tried to avoid before? Well, now I can, I can show off um, a few cool things. Now, you do have to be careful about using JP, but I think I will actually show you Mega Wind Blast, because that's pretty cool. And, of course, uh, yeah, why don't we use a uh, Swallow Swing? Take a look at that. Uh, of course, the Trick Shot, famously. So we'll just we'll just do that, and of course, um, Doctor Nusikon has a couple of cool techniques. But uh, one other thing I do like to—I don't think I've actually shown off Phantasm Shot yet. If I, I might have in the last video, if I have, I apologize. But yeah, look at this. She uses two guns, and look at that—2,000 damage. That is awesome. All right, and now he summoned the. Uh, yeah, that does auto petrify, which is amazing. And now we're gonna get to see Mega Wind Blast. Look at this thing. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Death to the big frog. So yeah, we're 
we're a little OP in this dungeon, but that's okay. Um, generally, what you want to do is you want to save your uh, save a lot of your uh, WP and JP for the boss. But you know, for the time being, it's actually quite okay uh, to every once in a while show off one of these things. So, oops, we did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. And uh, so, yeah, watch out for the ah. There we go. Again, even I'm far from perfect when it comes to dodging enemies, but yeah, check out this box down here. And it's Katana, which is a pretty good sword. Um, we got the Zero Sword, so it does, doesn't really matter. And so, this is a money bag, of course, 200 credits. And then you want to go up here, and I believe you actually want to go through this door. Yeah, so this will, this will actually take you back to the beginning, but there are some pretty nifty treasures along the way. So, yeah, for example, pick this, pick this guy up, Blood Chalice. Um, good thing to have on... Uh, Especially because I think Blood Chalice keeps you from getting drained, so that's something to keep in mind. Alright, so Loot actually learned um, a new new ability here, and that is Cross Slash. That's not bad. Um, might as well just get rid of Smash for now, because Bear Crush is essentially a more powerful version of Smash. So Cross Slash uses two swords, um, so if you have two Zero Swords, it does quite a bit of damage. So, yeah. Yep, and now we're going to fight this battle. Alright, perfect. So, yeah, there's a couple more doors over here that you can check out, which are, uh, not that useful, but there's a money bag over here that's 500 credits, so that's awesome. So, now what we want to do is, oh, get attacked by a bird. And you wouldn't think there'd be bird creatures flying around in a tomb, but you never know. Especially one that's supposedly open to the public, so, we, ah, again. Actually, this is not a very long dungeon. So, you go in this door, and what happens is you go through here, Room might look a little familiar. You just run past these guys, and you'll actually be starting close to the beginning of the tomb. Um, yeah, so here we go. Um, so let me just go back to the spot uh, th through the first door uh, where you find that treasure chest with the katana, and uh, I'll see. I'll see you there. All right, so here we are once again. Um, <laughs> on my way back, I definitely was better at dodging enemies the first time around. That that was not too impressive. But anyway, we're continuing through this tomb, and this is kind of a weird room. Um, because over here you have like a bunch of enemies that are blocking the way, and you're, what you're gonna try, what you want to really try to do, is not fight them. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, um, let me just pause it for a second. So those enemies are blocking the way, and if you want, you can fight them. But just to make things a little bit more interesting, I try to lure them out and then and then go around them just for fun. But yeah. So like if you kind of if you, if you put the uh, if not doing that, I am not. I'm just not good at this. Alright, so I'm going to just try to defeat these enemies, and then uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I killed them all. They're all dead. Fantastic. Okay, so we're almost to the end of the tomb, actually. Like I said, it's not that hard of a, 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 a level, so you just want to try to run past these guys. Like that. Oh yeah, mad skills. And now, we are actually in the throne room, and as you can see up here, there must be something there, but uh-oh. What has happened? And there's no music. That means obviously something creepy is happening. Alright, so... Yes, it's a pile of bones, and there's epic music in the background. So yeah, as you might guess, this is pretty much one of your first boss battles in the in the rune quest. And so right now, you don't actually you just want to use your standard techniques, nothing that actually costs any particular uh, MP or WP or JP or what have you. You just want to be standard because uh, you can't actually do any damage. Oh, by the way, the energy ch chain thing once your will gets to a certain level. Uh oh, here it comes. Ooh, that thing looks fierce. It's also very loud. Alright, so like I was saying, when your, uh, I think your intelligence or will gets to a certain level, your energy chain has an added effect of a wraparound, and sometimes it actually stuns enemies, so. Alright, let's go out all out in this guy, because th that's gonna be fun. So let's, uh, I'm gonna show you Vermilion Sand, because that's that one's a lot of fun. Um, Wheel Slash is awesome. And uh, you'll actually, there's a good chance that you will see the power of combos in this game, which is one of the best and most awesome things there is. Where, if you use certain techniques, you can actually combine with other teammates to do even more damage, bo bonus damage and so forth. So, um, let me show you Triple Thrust. So, we're, we're just going to absolutely wail on this guy. And let's, uh, yeah, let's throw in a, a Phantasm shot just for fun. Alright, so Bound Shot. It's going to do some serious damage. Alright, here's a level 2 combo. Got our friend Blue is going to be using Vermilion Sand. Oh yeah, look at that! Woohoo! Yep, just split apart, drops him, followed up by Triple Thrust, and that's going to do a lot of damage, I think. Uh, I can't predict anything, but yeah, look at that, six thousand! Woohoo! And then we go another 
Uh, unfortunately, a non-combined shot, but and there we go, wheel slash. So not too bad. Fortunately, this guy is not too difficult. Even even if you're lower level, uh, he's not too hard. He does recover um, almost a thousand HP every round, but if you do enough damage, you should actually be okay. So let's see. Let's let's implode him. Um, let's use Heaven Hell because that's awesome. And our friend, the Trick Shot, which doesn't combine very well, but it's actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's let's swallow swing. Why not? And let's see, uh, Doctor Nusikon. Let's let's see if he can use Poisonous Blow because that's actually kind of cool too. So. Yeah, here we go. Trick shot. And it's going to shoot him. And yeah, 2,000 damage. Look at that. All right, so no, no, no real luck doing any uh, combos this time, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, 89. Doesn't do much at all. Oh, look at that. Deflects. Just negates the attack. Oh, look. A Gale Slash. Woohoo! Learn Gale Slash in the midst of battle. And now we got Heaven and Hell going on. Love the battles in here so much. And he's dead. So yeah, we've killed the Skull Drake, and you got to see some of the awesome flashiness of this game which is really fantastic and now he goes back to his bony self so oh my god yeah boss battles in this game are just really exciting to watch I, I love them so much it's one of the best parts of this game and look at all these stat boosts and everything yep I'm a happy camper so yeah 400 credits not bad and I think that that might be uh, that might be it we might be uh all right now loot's gonna walk up by himself and we found the victory rune. All right. So that is awesome. And there's a picture of Rufus looking like a badass or or David Lee Roth, one of the two. <laughs> I see David Lee Roth in JRPGs everywhere. All right. So that is the victory rune. One down, three to go. So in the next video, we are going to be searching for the other runes. And hopefully we'll be able to find them with relative ease. So this is the Benchinator. Thank you guys once again for watching Let's Play Saga Frontier Blues Quest. And I'll see you guys later.